Doesn't Boo look like a good kitten curled up in a little cat tree like that? She's so adorable when she's sleeping and not trying to eat everything in sight. Good kitten, Internet. Let me put the webcam back where it's supposed to belong. So, last we left off, and I literally just hit stop and start recording. I haven't even moved the recording off of my SSD onto hard drives yet. Um... Last we left off, the messenger came through and basically told us, hey, look, I know you just teleported back to your castle, but turn around and go back in and talk to people, because Judge Grey died from a heart attack. This is the last step of the war quest line, and basically the start of the rest of the game. So, turning around and walking right back in. If Judge Grey dies before you return the trumpet, the trumpet is useless. That's the part that I was mentioning before. So now we have Ambassador Wright and Ambassador Scale. They both wish to talk with us. Ah, uh, greetings, my lords. I am Ambassador Wright from Bricada. You know, the wizards on the Rythia southern border? You've become very important persons. Since Judge Grey died in your lands, you must choose another arbiter to help settle the dispute between Arathia and Avli. I formally invite you to visit Bricada and meet Judge Fairweather, whom we strongly recommend for the post. I don't mean to be pushy, but I'm sure you understand your choice will affect future relations between our two governments. Hint, hint. A pleasure to meet you, lords. Hold on. My name is Ambassador Scale, and I represent Deia, the land of the necromancers northwest of Arathia. Now, I know what you're thinking. Necromancy? Yuck! Isn't that death magic? It is, but we're mainly pursue the knowledge for its own sake. Rather noble, if you ask me. We're not so bad. You should speak with some of the fellows. They really know how to party. <laughs> I invite you to visit Deia. When Judge Grade died, you become the ones that must choose his successor. We have someone in mind who will encourage our enemies to uh, uh, bring this terrible war to an end. Yes, I urge you to choose Judge Sleen. It would mean so much to us. We could do so much for you. Think about it, but don't think too long. So, we need to go to either Bricada Desert or uh, Deia in order to grab the judge. We've already I had already decided that I'm going to go with the Bricada Desert route, so that's where we're going. Also, we have an update. War! Truce! Good news! After some light skirmishes and plenty of spying and maneuvering, both sides of the silly war have decided to call a truce until a suitable suitable arbitrator can be found. My lords have been chosen to select the arbitrator. The future of relations between Arathia and Avli now rests squarely upon my lords' so far capable shoulders. I'm sure their decision will be a wise one. In other developments, ambassadors from Deia, the land of necromancers, and Bricada, the land of wizards, have arrived. They have come to announce their country's recognition of my lords as the rightful rulers of Harmondale, and no doubt to secure diplomatic favors. Politics as they are, both sides detest one another. Wouldn't be surprised if one ambassador tried to murder the other one in the middle of the night. Everyone is holding their breath. Nothing can happen, it seems, until this decision is made. And yeah, basically the plot just stops right here, until you make a decision. You could either have done all of the side quests at this point, or back when I did them, before the war arc started. I decided to do it early, because I like doing things early. They're both valid courses of action. We're going to Bricada Desert, though. And what's going to be the easiest way for us to reach Bricada? Let me take a look at my travel schedule over here. And what day of the week is it? It is Friday. Can't get there. I'm gonna have to walk from Arathia. That's fine. And yes, I could have stayed in Evenhorn for a little bit longer. I decided against it. I really don't want to do the Church of the Sun, Church of the Moon yet. Because one, I don't have Lloyd's Beacon known yet, so I can't drop a beacon and come back there anyway. And two, we're going to need to go back there for a quest later on. So. Hey, uh, Steadwick, Harmondale. Ricotta's down there, I guess. I couldn't remember. Zoom. 
Yeah, we already hit that. Yep. And we're in Bricada. So, we actually just need to go to the inn. Of course, we actually have the fly spell now, so we could just fly around instead of using the stupid teleporters. So, I don't know why I'm using the stupid teleporters. Sorry. Oh, your meditation master. Oh, that might not have been a bad idea for me to do right now. Yeah, I decided to throw it into air magic instead. Oh, well. Let's see. That's the School of Magic, which I think our library cards expire. No, it hasn't expired yet. Okay. Okay. We might have some Cinerate scroll. This is work. Armageddon scroll. Power cure. Mm. Sunray. Okay. And then useless books. Meh. Anyway, I want to go to the tavern. You're the promotion for night. Grandmaster. I've already hit the obelisk. The tower like this is what I'm looking for. ID item master. I think it's actually the one off to the right. Dagger expert and bow expert. I think it's this one actually. Come on in, yep. have a drink. Judge Fairweather. I choose you! A wise decision. You won't regret this, believe me. I knew you were gonna make this decision. I packed my bags already and ready to uh, already my bags are yeah, words are hard. All you need to do now is to get me to my new home and I will take care of the rest. Which is exactly what we're gonna do. So, the judge is with us now. Thank the heavens for guiding you right. This is the best decision you have ever made, even if you don't believe it now. The only thing left to do is for you to return me to Harmon, uh, return to Harmondale with me and bring me to Judge Gray's old house. I'll see that matters are handled correctly. That's exactly what we're going to do, and you're going to see a bit of a difference coming up. I don't want to spoil the surprise, though. <laughs> All right, normal speed. Hopefully this is FMV won't glitch. Perhaps we should draw the line here. <laughs> that certainly doesn't seem fair to me. How about here? Wait, how about this? Ah, apparently it takes a new arbiter to figure out where to draw a line at. I toast, my friends, to peace. To peace. It's hard to believe we were fighting each other when we all know who the real enemy is. Surprise, new GUI! <laughs> so, basically what ends up happening, and I will record a video of the other FMV. Um... Basically, Judge Gray was an idiot and somehow didn't know that, huh, what happens if we just draw the line in the middle of where the two of them want it? And um, Judge Fairweather is smart. Um, Judge uh, Sleel, Sleed, Judge Asshole um, is also smart, but his objective isn't to end the war. His objective was to let the war last as long as possible until both sides are exhausted. Because he's a necromancer. He could just revive all of the armies. So, Judge Fairweather is now our judge. And our plot quest is to go to Bricada Desert and enter the city of Celeste. We can now enter both Celeste and um, the Pit. Not that we can have a portal there, because we have to visit there first. So, we have lots of things that have happened. 
peace you win. My lord have chosen Sir Brendis Fairweather as the arbiter of the Treaty of Harmondale. His reputation as an even-handed referee is second to none. On March 24th, 1169, Sir Fairweather presided over a tense negotiation to divide the contested lands of Harmondale and surrounds. Though discord threatened the peace, Sir Fairweather's quick diplomacy carried the day and a formal peace treaty was signed between Arathia and Avli. In historic development, the treaty provided for the creation of the Kingdom of Harmondale, naming our, my lords as rulers and leaving them to the responsibility of administering the kingdom. Since invasion is not imminent, as was the case for the ill-fated King Vespin, hopes are high that the Kingdom of Harmondale will last a very long time. While Ambassador Wright of Bricada seemed very pleased with the choice of Arbiter, Ambassador Scale was furious. He has issued, in the name of his government, a warning to all travelers, including my lords from Harmondale, that in their safety could not be ensured. I think his meaning is clear. He has, however, expressed hope that perhaps someday the interests of the nation of Dea will coincide with those of Harmondale. Author's note. I don't think the interests of Dea and Harmondale will ever coincide unless if they conquer us. So, a couple of things. One, we are now the independent kingdom of Harmondale. Kingdom, queendom. My lords are the kings and queens of Harmondale, and there's four of them. Three women, one man. Anyway, um... We are now the rulers of Armandale as an independent kingdom. If we went on the dark side, um, rather than it being, hey, look, we're carving out the kingdom of Harmondale, the answer is basically Dea helped us with our armies and we occupied Harmondale. The other two options would be that either the elves or the humans, um, on the light side, their treaty just included Harmondale. On the dark side, they just conquered Harmondale, basically. So, yeah. Also, the author starts getting their influence from whoever, whichever judge that you end up choosing. So, as you can tell, we are now on the light side, hence the bright gooey. And I actually prefer the dark side gooey, oddly enough. Um, and the writer of the histories is actually starting to pick up on this. So, for instance, if we were on the dark side, they would start getting more and more snarky and evil. It's kind of interesting. And they did a this is one of the reasons why I really like Might and Magic 7. So they did a really good job with this. Anyway, we need to go back to where we were again. Uh, it's actually going to be faster for me to town portal back to the castle. Has our castle been improved yet? We might have to exit and enter the castle for it to be improved. Okay. Anyway, I need to check the stables here. Basically, from now on, I'm going to be checking the stables here every time I'm in Harmondale to see when there's another arena trip. Traveling today? Because I badly need to go to the arena. So, we need to go back to Arathia and walk again. Uh, what day of the week is it? Wednesday. We can get there from Arathia by sea on Wednesday. So, we're going to. Ah, dang it, while I was in even more and I didn't hit the, um, Welcome aboard. the inn so I can actually play Archimage. I forgot. Six days to Prakata Desert. What? Why would I do that? I could walk for five days. Ugh. Stupid game. Oh, well. I'll just walk. Anyway, we're going to go to Celeste now. Why did I walk up the mountain? I don't know. Because I'm being silly, I guess. This is definitely not the fast route. Why did I do this? There we go. Oh yeah. So, essential spell for dealing with Celeste is Featherfall. You will find out why very, very quickly. Celeste is a beautiful place, don't get me wrong. Don't go there if you're on the evil side of the fence. It's not going to end well for us. This is the other one. Darn it. This one. Yep. So this is the entrance to Celeste. Do you wish to leave the Bricotta Desert? Yes. Welcome to Celeste. 
This has all the makings for adventure. This is where wizards and arc mages come from, by the way. So, this is technically an indoor map, which is the reason why fly doesn't work here. Um, and if you fall through here, you start falling. It's very weird, but okay. So this is Celeste. They have light elementals, they have wizards, they have humans, and they also have um, rocks. Fine armor for sale. And this is going to be some of the best equipment that we can buy in the game, in Celeste and the Pit. Um, which one has better is based off of, well, what type of equipment you're looking for. Regen spell points over time. Unenchanted gauntlets. Yeah, I'll take up the unenchanted gauntlets. I need to do an enchant item frenzy. Uh, your standard stuff have anything useful? Noble crown, I guess. It's not really that great. I hope I have been of service. Halo sword. Did I help you find something? Uh, yeah, you have much better swords, but that's a two-handed sword, and I don't want a two-handed sword. Keen longsword might actually be worth picking up. So I'm going... <clears throat> mm, sorry. My voice is still a little scratchy from being, well, sick, basically. Returns yeah, if I remember right, their weapons are garbage. And their armor is the best in the game. I want to say that's what it was. Also, Come we're going to play Archimedes. Have a drink. And we're also going... It's only the 30 days? I thought this was the one that was really high. Drat, that might have actually been even more. Oh, well. We're playing Archimage. So, uh, we start with Tower 30, Wall 15. We need to get to Tower 100 or Resource 300. We start with a lot of resources on this one, so this one may end up being a resource victory. Or it might just be tower victory, just because that's usually easy. Oof, negative zoo. I did not want the negative zoo. I'm pretty sure this is going to end up being a tower victory. Oops, I put a foundation. That's okay. I need two tower. I need seven tower. Um, I'll take plus two core. That would be nice. I need nine tower. Not helping me, game. Not drawing any tower cards. Uh, the reason why I mentioned that you don't want to go through here when you're evil side is that one, everybody hates you, so they all want to kill you, and two, going through here invisible is not easy because you keep falling off of things. Okay, so yep, yeah, this is Halls of the Mist, isn't it? Yep, that is my favorite quest of the game. Oh yeah, I forgot about the angels. There's a lot of enemy types in here now that I think about it. That's a lot more than normal. So you've got human, angel, mage, elemental, and rock. Five types when there's usually only... Five types when there's usually only three types in a dungeon. 
To be fair, the elementals get summoned by wizards, so that kind of makes sense. Priests, you have come to me seeking that I be your guide on the path of light. But be warned, to learn its ways, you must learn the ways of your own soul. I would suggest that we meditate upon this for a while, but you look like you're in a hurry. South of Bracada is an island known as Evenmorn, and upon that island are the old temples of the sun and the moon. Both are inhabited by remnants of the two religions. Their once proud churches reduced to two old temples fighting for a small island. The Church of the Sun was the founding religion for our current faith, the Path of Light. I propose we help them out and tip the balance in favor of the Church of the Sun. Using the map that Daedalus Falk sent you to find in order to become priests, convince a sea captain to bring you to the island. There, bring aid and comfort to the Church of the Sun by purifying the altar in the Church of the Moon. This will so weaken the Moon Cult that the Church of the Sun will be able to overtake them in battle. Return to me when you have done this. Also, I forgot to hit that. So, Gavin Magnus, who is the person that we're actually going to go see, is the Grand Master of Light Magic. There's a lot of empty hostels here. All four of these, I believe, are empty hostels. Yep. They will come up later. And wall. Okay. Peasant. Gate master. Welcome. Be sure you don't have a falling out while you're here. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, yeah, because people die. I've heard rumors that the shrine to the so to the southeast of here can send you from the land uh, to the land of the giants. I've been to the shrine many times and it's never done anything for me special for here. Or is it that you can get there from the land of the giants? I wonder. <laughs> this should actually be a Harmondale talking point, not anything else. Welcome to Celeste. There's so many great sights to see here. Yeah, this place is really hard to fight in, by the way. Because angels are angels and wizards are not easy to deal with. Welcome. The council will A sprite hear you is the bounty today. Okay. I believe this is actually where we need to go. Uh, yeah, you can see the rocks. Everybody's friendly here, though, so it's fine. Floating above most clouds gives Castle Lambit more sunlight per year than any other location. The elegant architecture takes full advantage of the weather. It could also be damn cold up here, and it's not. It doesn't look too bad in here. I believe I'm not supposed to go that way. Yep, this is the correct way. New Lords from Harmondale, I see. Well, I'm pleased to meet you at last. I'm sure the relationship between our two governments will be a long and mutually beneficial one. You've made the right choice in allying with us. There's so much we need to talk about, but my advisors first insist that you walk the wizard's path before we, before our relationship can progress. I know this test seems silly, but I assure you the purpose is not. Or I assure its purpose is not. You can take the test whenever you feel ready, and if you fail today, you can come back and try it another day. The test involves entering the front door of the Walls of Mist and exiting through the back door. I use the word door loosely. You'll, you'll see what I mean when I get you there. You won't need your weapons. You will fail the test if you kill any creature in the Walls of Mist. If you can complete this task, you will be given membership into the Guild of Light. Good luck. You literally have to go through a dungeon without killing anything. Now, do you remember me going through a dungeon without killing anything earlier? This is why I really enjoy this, because this is how I became so good at using the Invis spell. Because I was so bad at it before. Um, it's not that one. We're going to continue searching through this place. So. More hostels. Yep. Files of Faith. Oh, we're time. late. Ah, drat. We just missed time. Drat. Oh, we can tell Portal back here at any time now. It's not this one either. 
Which one is it? There's one of the paths actually has the obelisk. Best care money can buy. Best care money can buy. Good luck. Good luck. Oh well. So we can do Halls of the Mist at any time. It's easier if we're already promoted to be um, Archmages, because then Invis lasts in hours rather than in tens of minutes. I kind of want to do it early. Anyway, I'm going to get the other promotion quests while I'm at it. Um, just to make things easier for us. Bye. Which one were you? Contest of Intellect. You've already won, and everybody else is going to fail horribly, right? We'll have to come back another time. Right, all the guilds are closed because it's evening. It's closed. Dang it. Students. The golem lesson was just an exercise, but to advance to Archmage, you really have to do something for the profession. Copies of the fabled Divine Intervention spell are very rare, and unfortunately the school doesn't have one. There's a history of bad luck regarding the spell. It's been around since time immemorial, but the spell has never found its way into our hands, always just out of reach. We often send guild members to find it, but every one has failed. Sometimes they have it in their hands, but lose it on the way back. Other times, the book seems to just vanish, only to resurface 20 years later in some old dungeon or on a deserted island. Right now, we think it's in the breeding zone in the pit. Find the spell and return with it. Break the curse. So the pit is the equivalent of Celeste, but for evil, it's underground. We will eventually go there. Not now. We've got a while. Hail and well met. <laughs> I love saying that. So what can I do for you today? So you want to be champions, do you? Ha! How could you be a champion if you don't win any tournaments? You know, I can't really promote you to champion status. You have to do it yourself, just like everything else. Go and win five championship tournaments in the arena at night level and come back to me. I'll call you champions then if you want. This is the one where we had to do the... Yeah. Um, okay. So the last promotion quest that we need to get is actually elsewhere. Well, last couple of promotion quests. Which I'm going to just quickly hop to and do that. So, we've got... Hail, I am Charles Quixote. I am the humble champion of the people, and I am at thy service. I am pleased to see that you have chosen the path of light, Crusaders. A wrong has been committed, my friends. And who else but us can put it right? A wicked villain has kidnapped a fair maiden by the name of Alice Hargreaves. His name is William Satag. Have you figured out William Satag yet? It's Bill Gates. Satag backwards is Gates. And he has imprisoned her in his tower. You must ride forthwith to put this villain to the sword and rescue sweet Alice. If you succeed, you will truly be heroes of the land. And of course, Don Quixote is with us, as usual. Back for more teaching, kid? Bah! You do-gooders are worthless. It's impossible for me to teach you anything more to you. So you'll start noticing that the people of the quote-unquote evil persuasions are, shall we say, less than enthusiastic about talking with you now. Anyway, we I'm going to pick up the last promotion quest over here for our party. We're still going to need the other ones, but... Um, oops, I slipped. This is what I get for running at double speed. Uh, that's not the way I wanted to go. You know what? It's going to be easier for me to just hit the autosave. I actually almost have this place memorized just from the sheer number of times I've had to go through it. I was just being a little too fast. It's the third one. I'm going to switch this to normal speed. It's the third one. Then hop. A skip. And a run away. There we go. Alright. Your next task is somewhat more 
difficult, more suited for spies than rogues. I've been asked to ensure that Watchtower 6, the only tower to survive the recent wars against the Necromancers, be unable to defend itself the next time it's attacked. Killing the guards inside won't help. The Necromancers will just fill it again with more troops. The tower is on the southern edge of the Necromancer's land. I want you to slip inside and move the counterweight in the gatehouse at the top of the tower to the gatehouse at the bottom of the tower. It is a heavy weight that can be found in a slot in the wall with a rope tied to it. When the time comes for an attack, the misplaced weights will be noticed too late, and the gate will not close. If you can do this, you have proven yourself, proven your status as a spy. So, I wanted to make sure we at least got the promotion quest for our four characters. Um, also, I need to update my quest log a little bit. Let me include this. It's 25. <laughs> 25. There we go. All right, now I can actually show you the final quest log. We've got a lot of quests on here, by the way. Uh, so, oh, I haven't checkboxed a lot of these, unfortunately. Sorry, one moment. Tags to do, there we go. All right, we have done this. Um, Oh, I can stop by Harmondale to pick those up. So let's do that. Harmondale. And I think we just had an upgrade. I'm not sure. Nope. I think the next upgrade will start having shops in here. That's what those um, actually are, their shops. Nope, okay. I'll be told when we actually have an upgrade. Um, okay, so a perfect bow is over here. I mean, Lawrence Mark, Master Archer. A few generations ago, an enchanted bow was created by the alchemists in the Tularian Forest to seal another peace treaty between the elves and the humans. While en route to Arathia, the bow was taken from the couriers by the titans in Athli. They have no use for the thing, so it's probably just in the stronghold still. Strike a blow for our profession and get that bow back. It's absolutely the finest thing that's ever been made. Oh, and while you're there, feel free to cut some of those bullies down to size. You stole it out of cruelty, not need. If you are successful, I will promote all warrior mages to master archers, or honorary murray mages, as the case may be. So, remember the stronghold of the titans that we ninjaed through? And there was one room that had nothing in it? That's what this is. So, that's good. And then on the other side over here is the monk one. Oh yeah, random peasants should have more to say about me now, if I remember right. So you are the new lords of Harmondale. How may I serve you? You notice that's no longer, <laughs> you won't last a week. It's now just, no, how can I help? You guys are awesome. Looks like the consequences of your choice are just beginning, my lords. I hope you've chosen wisely. It's this side, isn't it? Yeah. I see you wish to continue your training. Excellent. Have no fear, you are prepared for your next step. You must extinguish the remnants of an evil order, the Order of Ba. Defeat their high priest and return to me and I shall complete your training and promote you to master. So the master monk one is to go kill the Order of Ba. It's kind of fun actually. Um, let's see, what classes am I missing? I'm doing ranger ones I'm missing. Let's see, we've got that, we've got that. don't actually remember that quest off the top of my head. But I don't think it's triggered yet. Okay. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I must have missed some more stuff in Celeste. Anyway, we need to go back to Celeste soon anyway. Uh, we have both of these now. So I will check. We still haven't even finished the first Druid quest, but all we have to do is just go back for that. Um, in fact, let's do that right now while I'm thinking about it. 
by the way, nobody begrudges you for the war. Um, they only get pissed off at you if one side wins. But for Harmondale winning, both sides are actually fairly happy with you. In fact, I think if I remember right, I could just walk right on in here and they're still happy. Let's find out. We're here. It's not like this takes much effort. Especially when I do double speed! We'll have to come back oh. another time. Never mind. Okay. So, um, Druid promotion quest was over here. Ah, oh, Darkfell. You've only been. Uh, you only. I only have to look into your eyes to see where you've been. You've seen the circles, and they have left your imprint upon you, telling you that all druids among you are great now. Great druids is but a formality. Telling the rest of you that you're on now honorary druids is showing the respect that you have shown me for me and my faith. To be named an arc druid, you must serve the land. I know of a service that you can perform in the land above Stone City, where the dwarves bury their dead, is the barrow of King Zohar the Fourth. He died fighting in defense of Stone City during the invasion of Arathia by Nyon. His remains were never recovered and still lie in those tunnels. Retrieve his bones and place them in a coffin in his barrow. When you have done this, the king will rest and so will the land. Return to me when you have performed the service and I will perform the ceremony of ascension and name you all Arcturids. We actually already have the skull. All we have to do is walk back into the barrows. So, we're mostly done with the second promotion quest for Druid already. Alright, so we've got... Uh, we still need to calm the trees. <laughs> Where is that quest at? Gah! I can smell the stink of self-righteousness on you. Get away from me. Go on, get. Also, he's a human living here. Just noticed. We'll have to come back another time. Is it you? Darn it, where is this? Oh, you're still the butt monkey. You need to place statuettes. I don't know why there's so many humans living in the Thlarian Forest. Because if you notice, a lot of the portraits are of humans and not of elves. Yeah, you were the Earth Master. Spirit Grand Master, which I'll need somewhat soon. I've got time, but you're closed. Your shop or your bank, your shops. We'll have to come back another time. Your training. Leather Grandmaster. Bow expert. Spearmaster. Okay. I don't remember where that's at, but we can town portal here later. Uh, let's see, Arathia, we have both of those quests now. Hell yeah, yeah, we're not gonna get that for a bit. Okay. I actually wonder if that's in Avli and not. Um, whatchamacallit? Um, in Tillerian Forest. Wrong one. Right one, there we go. Okay, uh, so let's go back and do the Halls of the Mist. We've got 20 minutes. We'll probably finish that in that time. Time portal to Celeste. And we've already explored everything in Celeste, right? Ha, ah, it's this direction that has the entrance to the... Whatchamacallit? Uh, yep, here it is. Obelisk. I'm missing side quests here, though. That's unfortunate. 
but that might actually be side quests that happen after I finish the Halls of the Mist, now that I think about it. So. Alright. So, we don't need anything but the invisibility spell, because we can't do anything here anyway. Proving Grounds of Wizards. The walls of the Halls of the Mist lo float on the clouds like a mirage in the sky. It's an entirely magical construct. So this is, oh, actually, Wait. I'm going to leave, cast Torchlight, then recast Invis. That would make sense. Um, because we're going to need to be able to see, after all. So, we can't kill anything in here. Is it but this is actually not in? that hard of a dungeon. We're going to go to the right one first. Everything's wide open, which is ideal for us using Invis. Everything being wide open, that means there are spots in the dungeon that are still conditioned green. So what I'm going to hopefully do is whenever I see things go green, well, maybe I should have actually cast Featherfall. Oh well. Um, whenever I see things go green, I will hopefully just recast Invis. So this dungeon has this and the Breeding Pit are the dungeons with the highest respawn rate in the game. Its respawn rate is zero. That is, if you were to kill something, like for instance, if you were an evil character going through the Halls of the Mist, or what we're going to be doing in the Breeding Pit, or an evil character in the Breeding Pit for that matter. Ah, what is the point of this? No. Ha, no, dang it. I hit the wrong button. Let's try that. Come on, let's go. Let's try that again, shall we? Torchlight. Invis. Quick save. Re enter. This has all the makings for adventure. As I was saying before I so rudely interrupted myself, it respawns in zero days, which is to say that it immediately respawns. Just if you leave, if you kill something, leave, re enter, everything that was dead comes back. I really don't know why this is here. It's only on that side, too. Ooh, a little close for comfort. That's the problem, is that I can't rely on just looking around for my Z-axis on this. There are no items in the treasure chests in here, by the way. Um, I take that back. There is one piece of loot in this entire place. That would be the Book of Dark Containment, which is the dark magic equivalent of Divine Intervention. Not, or not Dark Containment, sorry. Dark Containment was like magic sex. Um, Soul Drinker? Anyway. We're not going to have any dark magic because we're on the light magic side. And in Might Magic 7, they are mutually exclusive. Anyway, so what we have to do is go through each of these areas for a key. We've been through the first, so what I'm going to do, I think, Let's I think go. I can leave. I still have the key in my inventory. Yep. You can recast Invis and go back in again. See, I didn't pick up on the uh, recast in invis then. part initially, which was a problem. So the first time I did this dungeon, I did it with one shot of invis. That was rough. This dungeon is basically Babby's first invis. It's just a puzzle. I, th 
thought that was... I thought I hit every combination already. Let me head over to the other side. Okay, yep, it's a combination on both sides. So I'm going to press all the buttons, do each side. Ooh, almost got hit by that one. Okay. One. That was it. Okay. Whatever. It's easy enough. Didn't think it was supposed to be that easy, but okay. It's disarmed. Okay, there's a second key. How are we doing on invis? I'm not even gonna bother recasting it. Alright. There is loot here. Thought there was only the one piece of loot, but apparently I was wrong. There's money here. Switch this to normal speed. Blue barrel. Why are you glowing? Blue barrel. Okay. Hmm. Yellow barrel. I think I am actually hitting the switches and I'm just not quite hearing it, unfortunately. to run oh that's gonna hurt Ow. yep I just got dispelled Ow. Run! Ow. I didn't think that took a game hour uh, my perceptions of time get a little messed up from uh, running double speed so let's recast our spells that we care about which is torchlight Wizard Eye, and Invis. And let's finish up the Halls of the Mist, which this we're going to finish a lot forward. faster than I was expecting. Um, you have all three of the keys in your inventory. Alright, lots of barrels. Green. You know what? We'll start increasing some of their accuracies. I disarmed it. Yeah, that's where the. Let's get out of here. There we go. We have completed the halls of the mist. We teleported to the opposite side of the hallway. Okay. 3:22 a.m. Yeah, it's always. I could theoretically have cast uh, Town Portal in that time, but that's okay. This is what I mean by you have to be careful about this place. Um, especially moving double speed. So yeah, we have completed this, and that gives us Light Guild Guild membership. Which is very much appreciated. Wrong direction.
Oh, and we're going to raid this castle blind also. Just fair warning. It's closed. You passed the test. That's quite an achievement. Few succeed as quickly as you did. My advisors are now eager to speak with you. They can be found in the four houses on the eastern side of Celeste. Once again, congratulations. So Gavin Magnus is actually the leader of the forces of good in the Heroes of Might Magics 3 and 4. Beyond that, he's uh, less of a goody goody two shoes, but still. All right. Now we have advisors. It's these four, if I remember right. Resurrectra. I'm glad you passed the king's test. It shows you are dedicated to the path of light. Now we should get down to business. My fellow advisors and I have some work for you, if you are willing. You will, of course, be rewarded. And always remember that whenever we whatever we ask of you, we always moving forward toward a noble goal, one you will be proud to have been a part of. We need your help in retrieving half of a key to a very important place from our enemies, the Necromancers. Like us, they have enshrined their half of the key in their highest temple, the Temple of the Dark. I'm under no illusions that this will be easy. Take your time and act when you are prepared. Also, bring our half of the key to us as well. It is enshrined here in the Temple of the Light. Since you are ally, no one should trouble you when you go there and fetch the key. By the same token, please don't harm any of them either. Greg Hack. Now that you have completed this test, I too have a request of you. Unlike my friends, mine has little to do with advancing toward the goal, but is important nonetheless. Our allies in Titalia have been complaining for some time about a mysterious presence. There have been numerous deaths and disappearances for the last few months. They've asked us to if we knew anything about it. I think I do. I suspect a vampire is preying on Titalia. I don't have time to pursue the question myself, but to... I know, boo. But I... But to keep our allies happy, I'm asking you to please look into it. It's possible that the monster's presence has a deeper implications than just bad luck for Titalia. Arbit the Wise. Like my friends, I have a task for you as well, but now is not the time. Finish their work first, then I will tell you about my mission. And finally, Sir Kenningham. I'm pleased to hear that you have passed the test. We must attack our enemies before they get too strong. I have a plan that will do lasting damage to their noxious brotherhood. It is dangerous, but bold, and cowards such as they are will never accept it. The plan involves stealing the soul jars and the necromancers rely on to prolong their miserable lives. They have hidden them somewhere in their guild castle and probably are not prepared for the kind of small-scale assault you people are good at. A quick strike, in and out, should be do the trick. Don't hang around the castle too long or reinforcements will arrive and they will try to get it right the f and try to get it right the first time where they'll permanently double their patrols. Once you have the soul jars, bring them back here so we can dispose of them properly. So, Sir King and him, uh, Robert the Wise, Resurrectra, and Craig Hack are four of the characters from Might and Magic 3. That will become very important, and it is intentional and not just a passing reference. Canningham being the name of Sir John Canningham, the founder of 3DO and the make and the original creator of the Might Magic series, is a passing reference. Boo Kitty, stop trying to get me to fall off of Celeste. Hey, Boo Kitty's right here. She's poking my arm, my mousing arm, and trying to get me to fall over. So we have four more quests. Ah, uh, so many quests. What should we do first? Oh. My lords have become involved in some sort of intrigue at the court of Grand Vizier Gavin Magnus. They have passed a recent wizard's test involving skill and restraint, and have embarked upon a plan to strike at our enemies with the aid of their new allies. Uh, with the aid. Yeah, no, with the aid of their new allies. I hope this is wise. I have no doubt that our enemies will surely react to any aggression on the part of Harmondale, including spying of any sort. Our allies are strong, but are they strong enough to defend us against an attack from Deia? And can they be trusted to help when that attack comes? The rumor mail churns, and it seems that the secret of the Grand Vizier's new boldness come from the four new viz advisors he hired. They're always by his side, plotting and scheming for the benefit of Bricada. That's what my sources are saying, anyway. Who knows where these people... Oh where these people really come from and what their true purpose is. All right.
right, and we're going to hop back to Harmondale because I think that was a castle upgrade. Yep. See? You need medical attention. We have our own healing now. Oh, you're looking at my cat's shirt. Um, this is the only healing in the game that can um, resurrect. Take this care. is the best healer in the game. This is the best Hi. How are you? alchemist in the game. No, no, this isn't the best alchemist in the game. This is a crappy alchemist, that's right. Um, one of these is actually the best in the game. I don't remember which one now. See anything you want? Not you. Rotten hell, you well, I never. Want. Need a new weapon? Probably not you either, although you at least have... Thanks for nothing, it must be the Wrong temple Russia. that's the best one in the game. Anyway, you'll notice that we have new things. Need a new weapon. Thanks for nothing, money well, bags. Never. That's what I want to do. So we're going to do some exploring in Castle Harmondale for the rest of the time. I've switched it away from double time. We've got new heights. There's not much of a point to a lot of this, to be fair. You can store things in Castle Harmondale, but it does reset. Dogs. Lots of dogs. This is worthless. And the loot in here is garbage. But I can always use more barrels. So that is green, red, purple, red. house. It'd be nice if you could just rest in here. Oh wait, you can! So at this point in the game, resting and healing is now free in here. It does not take any amount of food whatsoever. So there's no reason not to just town portal back here and rest if you need to spend some time. Go back down. Get in the door. Go up even higher, and this is all the blue stuff that we were seeing earlier. Yellow, red, blue, orange, yellow, green. Ugh, I'm not going to remember that. Blue, orange, yellow, green. Blue, orange, yellow, green. How did I actually remember it, even though I said I was not going to? Blue, orange, yellow, green. I'm just going to pick these up just so they don't bother me. What a piece of junk. Even though they're pieces of junk. So yeah, you can store things here. Hmm. But they will disappear, and that's unfortunate. What a piece of junk. Poppy snaps. You remember those from the original game? Um, it's disarmed. I yep. disarmed it. These are just mostly empty cabinets. I disarmed it. This is worthless. So if you it's want to disarmed. store things here, as long as you're mindful of when the game will reset it, it's easy. It's disarmed. You have plenty of hmm. space to store things. It's disarmed. This is Unfortunately, worthless. the game resets. It's like, why? Just why? I'm gonna finish this floor. Alright. Basic cryptography. The cryptography has many forms. The focus of this manual will be the substituted word form, sometimes known as the lesser cipher. Simply put, the two parties agree on... It's a simple cipher. I don't quite understand why that's in here, actually. I don't remember that. Hmm. Hmm. All of this is kind of garbage anyway, but... Again, I'm just trying to clean things out. So at least... Useful to sell. Hat. Let's have another. Hmm. Cool. Purple, green, purple, blue. You can just drink all of that. Purple, red. And you know what? You can drink that too. Now, let's go back over here. Yeah, I'm going to finish up and just finish with Castle Harmondale, basically. Mm 
think we have our new entrances. Remember, those were just blocked off before. I think that is actually it for now. We still have another castle expansion to go, but... Nope. There's here. Welcome to the dungeon. That's a massive dungeon in here. Some stocks, broken bones, torture implements, you know, the things that you do. Garbage. The rack. As you do. Yeah, you're the new Lords of Armandale. You need torture equipment from time to time. And a dungeon. For all of those enemies that you're going to start imprisoning. That is a passage out. But you can't actually get through it. It's weird. It's like, I would love to be able to find out what's actually in... Oh, I can. I did not expect that. Okay, maybe I'm stuck in here now. Nope. Oh, hmm, okay. Journal excerpt. Scribes notes. Ooh, 1120. Yep, don't understand. Tomb of the Master is... I don't think that's in right here. This is worthless. Yeah, I'm full of junk in my inventory. Nothing. Nothing. And nothing. All right. I missed me here. Money is at least not worthless and doesn't take up inventory space. I think that is truly it. Oh, nope. That's up. Isn't it? Yeah, that's up. Just up. Or you can go to this one instead. Which is the same type of entrance. I don't understand why both exist, but whatever. Yep, and that's it for Castle Armando. I'm pretty sure there's no other significant expansion for the rest of the game. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this, and I will talk to you all next time. What the heck am I going to do next time? I should probably figure that out. Goodbye, Internet!